In this video, we're gonna walk you through step-by-step -step what it's like to set up provision throughput units. Now, previously, you would have to call your Microsoft representative to do this for you, and it might take a number of days. There was a new self-service experience, so you can do this all on your own. Now, there's another thing related to self-service, and that's called reservations. That's a way to save money on PTUs. So let's talk about pricing. If you didn't get any reserved instance pricing, you'd be paying $2 per PTU uh, per hour. So let's say, remember you have to purchase these in blocks of 50 or 100 or 200. So this option down here would be a great option if you're just doing some testing for a few hours. Uh, we don't even charge you for the full hour. It's a fractional hour if you don't use the entire hour or maybe a few days. But if you're gonna use this for uh, more than several days, it would make sense to purchase a reservation. So if you purchase a one month reservation, you're paying $260 for that PTU for the entire month. Um, if you do the one year reservation, then you're effectively paying $221. Well, let's, let's get down to some numbers to see what this actually looks like. If you were to deploy the GPT-4 O model and you purchase the minimum number of PTUs of 50, and then you purchased a one month reservation, it would cost you $13,000 for that entire month. If you bought the one year reservation, it would be 11,050. So really good savings on that. Let's talk about the steps. What does it take to set this up? You of course have your Azure subscription, and if you haven't already requested access to the Azure OpenAI service, then you would do so. You would check quota, in your, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, you would create your OpenAI service itself, and then you would create a deployment of a model, and you would wanna pick the right deployment type. I'll show you how to do that. So you're picking the provisioned throughput deployment type. Then after that, very quickly after that, you're gonna do a reservation, because that's gonna save you money. I, the reason I say quickly is, if you just created a deployment without purchasing a reservation, then you're paying that $2 per hour rate. So let's do a demonstration to show you exactly how this works. Okay, here we are in the Azure AI Studio, in the overview section. Let's look at quota first. This is where you would check your different quota. I don't have anything deployed here, so I've got zero out of 100, so I'm all good. If you needed more quota, you would just click this and it would take you to the appropriate place. All right, now the next step is to actually create a deployment. So let's click on our deployments here. We're gonna deploy a model, a deploy a base model, and let's pick gpt 4 o We'll confirm that. Now we'll give this just a couple seconds and it's gonna come up. And the key thing here is no, we don't want global standard for this. We want provisioned managed. So we confirm that the deployment type is provisioned managed, and then we click deploy. Now this is nice, they've added this purchase an Azure reservation, which is uh, a great reminder that as soon as you've provisioned this, you'll wanna go create that Azure, uh, that reservation, otherwise you're gonna be paying the hourly prices. So I'm just gonna get, hit cancel instead of creating that. Now how do you get back to that uh, reservation? If you didn't click that link, you can go directly into the Azure portal itself and just type reservations, or go to this quota over here, under Azure OpenAI provisioned, click purchase a reservation and that'll bring you over to the Azure portal. So here we are in the Azure portal and we'll click purchase now. If you wanted to get here in the uh, Azure portal and, and you didn't click that earlier link, you could just type reservations and you'd get there. Okay, let's click purchase now. And then search over here for Azure Open AI, hit enter, and you'll see the service right there. Let's click on it now. I have an internal subscription here, sandbox subscription, where I can't purchase these, but this should not be any issue for you. You pick your subscription or management uh, group, and then purchase that either uh, monthly or yearly reservation. So I hope this helps explaining how to quickly uh, and easily uh, do self-service for your provision throughput units. Thanks for watching.